Today I'm going to show you how to key green screen footage in Final Cut Pro X, just like this green screen. To begin the video, we have the footage of me talking with the green screen, and then I, without moving the camera, removed the green screen and the chair, and I got a shot of the background with my dog moving. So the first thing you want to do is come over to your green screen footage, come over here to effects, go to masks and keying, and use draw mask. With the mask, you want to just only mask around the green. With the green screen, you want to make sure that there is no lines and that the light is even on the green screen. With this, I just set it up out of the box and I didn't use any lighting except for just the lighting in my apartment. After you finish drawing the mask, you can now go to a green screen keyer. If you have a older version of Final Cut, it should just be called keyer. Okay, so it looks like there is quite a lot of green screen that did not go so click on sample color and you'll just start drawing around the areas that did not work huh, that looks pretty good you can then come over here and switch to black and white you have a lot of options over here to help make the keying better a lot of times i've had a lot of success just using the matte tools so you can go into these settings and kind of just mess around with the settings a little bit to try to get a better key also in this video as soon as i move my hands up I want to cut the green screen and the mask. So now that you have your footage keyed, you just grab your back plate, put it underneath the footage, and now it should be back to normal. To do a quick color grade, just go to Window, Workspaces, hit Color and Effects. So I'm just going to hit V on the background, come over to View, click on one box, come over here to Color Grade. Now with the exposure, you just want to get exposure right below 100, midtones around here, and then the shadows right above zero. So exposure, you see it right below 100. So right here, this one's right below 100. The midtones right about there, 50. And then for shadows, majority up right there, it's above zero. And now with the background, do the same thing. So the exposure under 100, midtones, around 50 and then shadows right above zero now with them all together a quick thing you can do to match your other footage is hit command c on the first footage go to the second shot go up to edit paste attributes and then get rid of the green screen key and draw mask and keep the color board so now it's the same color brightness. That's how you do green screen in Final Cut Pro X. That's it for this video. I hope it helped on how to use the green screen keyer in Final Cut Pro X. Please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing as it will help this channel to grow. And thank you so much for watching.